Welcome to the first episode in our new series, Red Ox Reviews, where me and the kids will be doing brief five minutes only reviews of games we are playing. This could include new games, retro games, or games where they've released a new patch or an update. And in these reviews, you'll hear from Red Ox, Luke, and Shannon, and we'll give you our pros and cons from each point of view, and then a quick summary from Red Ox at the end. So for our first review, we're picking the game Cadence of Hyrule. So Luke, what makes this game great? Lots of cheats, different ways to complete your area with different items, uses, uses a lot of your brain to do, uh, well, everything. Co-op mode, fun gameplay. So Luke, can you tell me three things you didn't like about this game? Hopping to the beats takes a really, 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 really long time. Game is way too easy, including the bosses. It's just a little bit too short. So I asked Shannon the same questions I asked Luke, and she said to the res in response to what makes this game great, I like Cadence of Hyrule because it's a good quality game, and I also like playing as Zelda and Cadence in multiplayer, so you don't just play as Link. And I like playing multiplayer with Mom and Luke. So then I asked Shannon, what are three things you don't like about this game, or maybe one thing that you'd change? And she said, I would change that you would not have to move to the beat because that is hard. So now, the Red Ox summary. Cadence of Hyrule is possibly the steal of E3. For only 25 bucks, you're getting an exceptional remixed Zelda soundtrack. The 25 song track includes music from the original Legend of Zelda, Zelda II The Adventures of Link, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, and Link's Awakening, as well as a few tracks from Ocarina of Time. Prominent themes from each of these games make their appearance in both the overworld levels the secret caves sprinkled throughout, and the boss levels. The soundtrack alone is fantastic, and even though the game itself is about half the length of its retro-inspired predecessors, it plays like a fun and full Zelda quest. Fighting mechanics are simple in this game, but they can be deceptively difficult to utilize to make through the various screens unscathed. There are various weapons you can use, such as the dagger, a spear, a sword, etc., and each weapon has distinct range and damage. Some weapons can be upgraded by elusive and sassy fairies that you encounter in your quest. Hopping to the beat while fighting, using items and shielding takes some getting used to, but once you've mastered an offensive pattern, you and a partner can cruise through each randomized screen in your adventure. This game is also very supportive for folks new to the Crypt of the Necrodancer series. With a brief tutorial of how to hop to the beat and use your weapons, you are also able to upgrade your starting character with diamonds after each death. This ability helps you continue to make progress even if you get stuck somewhere and supports new players and Zelda beginners in learning and refining their abilities as they make their way through the quest. Playing this game with my kids, my wishes were the following. One, that Nintendo had introduced online co-op so we could play with our friends who also have this game. And two, that the game was longer simply because I just didn't want to stop bopping through Hyrule. Cadence of Hyrule comes highly recommended from the Red Ox family, and we are looking forward to honing our skills and maybe even putting up a speedrun or two by the end of 2019. Thank you for watching our first Red Ox reviews. Looking forward to further gaming reviews coming soon. If you have a suggestion for a game you'd like us to give a five minute or less review to, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, come and join us in our little community over on Twitch for our family friendly live streams where we play modern and retro content. Thank you for stopping by.